Hajo Bajen! Alex and I have been very excited about the construction of this massive building behind us here. So this is the new Beijing Tangzhou Library and it's like pretty amazing. There's some Guinness World Records, there's some biggest and best and we're gonna take you inside and talk about some of the details. So let's go check it out! The text on the levels like this reminds me so much of the Expo 2020 Dubai. Uh, it was a UK pavilion that kind of looked like this, but then it was like an interactive art exhibit. Obviously, like the architecture in here and stuff is completely different, but it just reminds me of that. did not realize that this is what was happening. Ah. So I read that this library can house over 8 million books, but also that they have a state-of-the-art underground book storage system. So you can find what you want and request it, and then it like comes up from the underground storage, which is very cool. And I said with 8 million books, I don't think there's 8 million here yet, but with 8 million books, surely they'll have some English books. And they were saying that it's really easy for anyone to come here and get a library card. Um, there was like no specific restrictions, so that's nice. Grandma has her tripod down there, so it seems like I could have brought my big tripod, but I didn't know if they would let me in with it through security, so I was like, eh, I just don't bring it. That's why I have Alex for. We found some English language books. So the architecture of the ceiling in here is nicknamed Forest Knowledge. Um, which is this really cool like ginkgo tree ceiling. Very cool. And this whole area is coming up with like new architecture, big buildings. There's a canal museum and this is the new um, like performing arts building that you can see over here. This library is 75,000 square meters and this like the library itself, the reading area is in the Guinness Book of World Records for the biggest library area. It's also like the newest technology for the most intelligent libraries in the world, which is very cool. Very cool. This is the science fiction author Xixin Liu or Liu Xixin, who uh, has written this book called in English. Here's the issue: the three body problem. Mm -hmm. One of China's most successful international sci-fi writers of all time. They have a Chinese adaptation of this as a television show, and Netflix has an adaptation coming out, I believe, this year. I love that they've given him an entire section of all three body problems and all the languages that it's been published in. That's, that's what all these books are. That's so cool. Was this one of the people that was featured in the 798 Art District when we went? Yes, that was his, in the one that, like, the exhibit that we were disappointed in. I loved the art, but the, there just wasn't enough in the yes. exhibit. But that, this is who's, well, he was one of the artists that was in there. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, yeah. 
That's so cool. I love that. I love seeing it in different languages. It's a really cool series. Check it out. I would use the system that brings them up in the basement. Mm, I'm sure we could. Ooh. This is the kids' area, and it's so cute. Oh, this isn't the very hungry caterpillar. It's just letters. Not the real thing. We walked just across the street to the Canal Museum building, which is massive and impressive on its own. Um, it looks like the plans for this area, it's going to be epic and big. I don't know how long construction is supposed to be for like the rest of the area, like the plans for the shops and the stores, and it said that there's going to be maybe a subway station that comes here. I don't know if that was just in the picture or if that's like, there. it would make sense for a subway station to come to this massive library. Um, so we're gonna have a look around. This feels like a train station, like it feels massive. Can we go up or down? I think we gotta go up. There's a room here as well, and there's like some stuff downstairs to Okay. Look at. Yeah, so this is on the canal, the canal that connects Beijing to Hangzhou, which is like really far. And they were saying that the water, that's how um, the Forbidden City, downtown Beijing, back in the olden days would get their water is from the canal that would come all the way from Hangzhou, all the way from West Lake, which we went to visit a couple years ago. I don't know where the canal goes after that, but we're going to learn about it in this museum. I always get these tea drinks and they need just a little bit of honey. Just a little bit of sweetness, you know? Wow. Oh. <gasps> it was universal. That's us. Do it. They're really pretty, but like I don't like. I wanted one, but like I don't need one. Like I'm not. I don't know. I was Is gonna there like. I, need? I was gonna like take it to work and like put it on the wall or something. Yeah. But like, it's okay. They're just. They're pretty. I do already have one at work. Not like that. So we feel like we kind of just happened to walk in to this like open house situation in this incredible performing arts theater. So this is the opera, like Chinese opera theater, which is really, really big, 1,700 seat theater. And then on the other side, it's almost like two buildings that are connected because the other side was um, like a smaller the theater that was very similar to this one and then like a multi-space which we couldn't go into but we were thinking like is it like a black box theater but like just incredible like so this is a brand new theater that has never been performed in before never been used before and you can fully see like everything that they have going on like in the stage and everything very cool <laughs> 